after he comes back from vacation, he will start attending locals again. So we are going to have a lot of top player pre uh, presence coming to Fusion. But here we go, going game one into Skips and Jackal. Fighting off, going to be looking for a little bit of the, the distance game to start us off. But neither one of them wants to be the one caught in an early really combo. Jackal making really good use of the throw armor, though, to escape the uh, the crown hit. And that's probably going to be one of their biggest tools in this. 70% though already on skips. And this is in a great position because they're going to have to get past Jackal on the ledge. And that's where Jackal cries. That was a good counter right there. Just going to attack on a little bit of percent. Just be able to get back into neutral. But right now, not going to be able to get that tech. The sliding F tilt is going to cover a lot of space. And what is Skips going to do at ledge? Right now, K Rule doesn't really have a lot of options, especially against uh, against Wolf. Wolf just has so many <laughs> deceivingly Baby. fast options. And that F smash is going to be able to close out that stock and just catch Skips lacking on the landing aerial. And here we go again. Jackal recognition. I do like Skips just going for that fastball uh, Nair. Be able to try and oh, cover up and get out of the combo. Good side B back to stage and Jackal playing the patient waiting game and using the crowd against him oh to come back God, down. So this is such damage. an insane combo. <laughs> Skips takes 85 off of one, man. Oh my God, great recognition and matchup experience right there from Jackal. Just now, he was like, all right, he's gonna try to read my, my air, um, excuse me, my mash right now. So I just got to not mash, and unfortunately, you're gonna, you're gonna miss. He died from there. Wow, I'm surprised. That's a good conversion for him, Skips, to be able to connect with that grab back throw. Take the stock off of Jackal, oh, but now he's still got to get off of ledge. I I actually thought that was scary as hell from Jackal, trying to go for that down smash there on Skips' landing. Doesn't manage to connect with it yet, but I don't think that's the last we'll see of that attempt. And yeah, every time he just knows when to th when to get his throw armor because he's like, all right, I need to capitalize on this grab. I need to get you off stage and I need to set up this ledge trap. Right now he is doing that exactly and just getting the F tilt to be able to command stage right now. There he goes again. He's yeah, so good at it. Throw. And just being able to, to okay. kind of invalidate K Rule's biggest tool and that's the crown in neutral by just running up, getting those nice tomahawk grabs, and then waiting oh, for the, the throw arm to keep throw, him safe. Attack, up tilt, yep. And a guaranteed 40% right there off of that one conversion, and Jackal is just starting to get into stride right here. And one thing that we haven't seen him do a lot yet is uh, use shine whenever Skip just throws out an, uh, an, um, excuse me, an item. But oh, great conversion right there. Unfortunately for Skip's not gonna be able to close out the stock, but right here, Jackal again sitting. Sending skips at ledge, but here we go. Oh! Notice for the conversion, doesn't manage to connect with it the first time, but is able to get the up air the second time, makes use of it. But now 110%. This is almost the point where Jackal closes out game number one. Skips has to play so carefully, so perfectly, if they want to get around the plethora of kill options that Wolf has at his disposal. Mm -hmm. Back door going to give Jackal a lot of stage control, and the laser going to bring and him that, up to 163%. I was literally, I was all literally Jackal just has about to do to say. is wait a little bit of extra time. The Ledge Invincibility to run out, throws out that f note and takes game number one. That's exactly what I was just about to call out, too. I was like, all right, watch, uh, just wait for Jackal to just wait for this ledge invincibility to give out and just get for the f tilt because the f tilt especially at that one it, he was at uh skiss was at 160 so like you just need that time once you realize that time passes by you just need you just go for that f tilt it kills so er um it kills well early i guess but k rule just gonna lose that ledge invincibility and that f tilt is gonna catch underneath the ledge and here we go going into game two the same way let's see what adaptation Jack is not able to get that grab that he wanted not gonna get there in time to try to punish that counter. Nair. There we go. The bread and butter. If you've ever seen a wolf, you've seen the uh, Nair grab down throw <laughs> dash attack. That's, uh, that's just what he'd do. But now the, a really nice down tilt F tilt is going to put Skips off stage. And this is super, super dangerous. If Jackal manages to get this ledge trap, he oh wants the F smash goodness. and he's going to be able to get a grab it's... instead, just throws him right back off stage. This is so tough for him. And this is where Jack Jackal's just been getting all their mileage from. He's just like, let me throw you off stage, let me just keep ledge trapping you, I'm just gonna keep getting this damage for free. Because Wolf's ledge trap is just so high up smash, not able to do it. Jackal wants this off smash out of shield to take out the stock, but he just hasn't been able to catch it yet. The F throw off stage going to bring him to 161%. 
Waits for the invincibility to run out, but a good awareness from Skips to be able to get that jump. Just takes the dash attack, reflects the laser right back in his face. Yeah, just to get a little bit of damage while you're in disadvantage. Anything, like, honestly, at this point, anything works because you're just going, like, you're struggling to get an advantage. You're struggling to get any damage going or get anything going in general because Jackal is just doing such a well, such a good job of just keeping you at ledge. It's like, what do I do? Like, how do I get my damage in? How would I, how do I just keep in, like, how do I just do anything to get in? Unfortunately for Skips, tried, I knew they were looking for something off of that, the, the returning crown. Probably trying to go for an up smash or an up, uh, uh, F smash or up smash off of the returning crown, but not going to be able to get it. And right now, Skips, for the first time this game, is finally playing neutral. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jackal's just kind of been smothering him for the rest of it. It's only those, like, random straight hits that Skips is able to start a little bit of an advantage state off of. But now, like, he's gotten his opportunity. He's just dancing around the platforms trying to force Jackal where he wants him to go. The up smash isn't going to do it, but neither is... Oh my gosh, yeah. the Wolf Flash very nearly got Jackal oh, yeah. killed there. <laughs> and it's going to be the Barry F smash. Yeah, the, the, the adaptation is like, alright, you're not going to mash? I'm just going to F smash here. Like, get out of here. <laughs> alright. Here we go, the ledge trap scenario yet again. Tries to get a little F smash with, off, off of the crown throw, but the crown armor and the crown throw would have just negated that. The bear not quite going to kill yet. Some really good DI from Skips, but and he's not able. Armor. To, he is able. Never mind. I thought that F tilt was going to kill, but the armor saves him. Mm -hmm. That armor is meaty. Nice percent right here, and now Skips is starting to get a little something going. 157 on the second stock, so you might just you just need to get a little bit of damage going, or maybe just try to cheese a stock out right now, especially because K Rule just has that capability. But the dash attack at ledge just jackals awareness and just capability to just capitalize on. Quick time, uh, quick time moments like that. Here we go, the bread and butter. Okay. But if I, Good if tomahawk that grab right there. Jackal, Jackal gets the back throw to get stage positioning. Gips is going to try and get back on, but he just gets right back up into Jackal's grab. He's going to extend that into some more much needed percent. And Skips just can't land. Yeah, Skips just cannot really, really just cannot get anything going. And Jackal is just bringing it home, just getting all these ledge traps, getting all this damage. He's going to go for the Wolf Flash, trying to get the two frame. Ooh. Not going to be able to get it. And here we go. He is just playing for style right now. I mean, like, even when Skips manages to step foot on the stage, it's just right back into a grab, it's just right back into a throw, it's just right back into a dash check, whatever it is. He doesn't get the opportunity to breathe, and just like that, Jackal's able to...